10 minute stock trader takes calculated risks, understands that the treasure lies in knowing the data, doesn't guess at trading, follows their plan, doesn't blame others, takes responsibility, and knows why the market works. A 10 minute stock trader is smart. A 10 minute stock trader understands that they can make the world a better place. They spread joy to others. They follow their dreams. They build each other up. They use money as a tool and they spend as little time trading and as much time living as possible. Welcome to the 10 minute trading room where we take the guesswork out of trading. Good morning, traders. I apologize for being late. I uh, I am having some technical difficulties, and um, as you can see, my 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 face is a little bit blown out. My my settings are just not working correctly, but that's okay. You don't want to look at my ugly face anyway. We have a lot to talk about today, so if you could please go get pen and paper, because I am I'm going to blow your mind today. Get pen and paper and take notes. This is not a joke. This is not uh, hyperbole. This is me saying, get pen and paper. We got a lot to cover today. I'm going to show you how to find beast mode stocks. Now, I am not, by any stretch of the imagination, exaggerating this. What I am doing is I'm going to show you how it's done. Uh, but listen, if you're not paying attention, if you're not taking notes, this could fly right over your head and it could potentially be the most important information you'll ever get in trading. So I am glad that you're here. Typically, we do these as private trainings for the members of the 10 minute trading room. But I was talking to my team and I'm like, let's keep this one live. Let's make this one um, be evergreen out there because this is really good stuff. So um, let me click the right button here. There we go. That's what I want to see. This is a two step test to find the absolute beast mode stocks. And listen, anyone can do this once they know the secret. And you need the secret, and that's why you're going to have your pen and paper so you can follow along and take notes. So, quick legal disclaimer. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just a random guy on the internet. You shouldn't listen to anything that I say. But if you do, you do so at your own risk. So, with that being said, let's move on. <laughs> Let me know that you're here in the chat and where you're from. Let me know by saying hi so I can say hi right back to you. And uh, real quick, um, there's a few things about being a 10 minute stock trader that don't just take it from me. Take it from take it from these people. Uh, 10 minute stock trader takes calculated risk. A uh, 10 minute stock trader understands that the treasure lies in knowing the data. A 10 minute stock trader doesn't guess at trading. A uh, 10 minute stock trader follows their plan. A 10 minute stock trader doesn't blame others. A 10 minute stock trader takes responsibility. A 10 minute stock trader knows why the market works. A 10 minute stock trader is smart. A uh, 10 minute stock trader understands that they can make the world a better place. A 10 minute stock trader spreads joy to others. A 10 minute stock trader follows their dreams. A 10 minute stock trader builds each other up. A 10 minute stock trader uses money as a tool. A 10 minute stock trader spends as little time trading and as much time living as possible. Well, I mean, they took the words right out of my mouth. That's all of the awesome things about being a 10 minute stock trader. And of course, that is uh, deep fakes that they put out there. Uh, but that's the case, right? With being a 10 minute stock trader, you don't have to stare at a screen all day. You just have a plan and you execute the plan. So on today's agenda, we're going to be having three key sections here. We're going to be talking about how you could be crippled by opportunity. There are thousands of stocks to trade, but which ones are the best? It's time to break the stock trading speed limit. This is how the pros do it. All right. And save time and frustration. This is how to spot opportunities that 99% of traders miss. And I'm going to show you some real life examples as well. So uh, doesn't that sound awesome? Type yes in the chat box. Let me know that you're here by saying hi. And please ask questions as we go. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a private training for members of the 10-minute trading room. But I wanted to keep this one live. Typically, we pull these down on Mondays, but this one's going to stay live for you. Now, the cost of admission today is hitting that share button. We're going to be covering a lot. And there's a lot of information that somebody definitely could use uh, in their own trading. So get a pen and paper and take notes. 
Uh, and of course, today I'm going to be giving you $5,488 worth of trading education for free. My 10 minute stock traders know all about that, but promise me you will not use these powers for evil when you see how to trade in 10 minutes a day. When you become a hashtag 10 minute stock trader, this is going to change your life. Disclaimer again, I'm going to show you the processes, but this does not guarantee that you're going to be profitable. Can't do that at all. Now, one of the things that I like to say is um, from Richard Dennis, someone that I've learned an incredible amount from. He says, you could always publish the rules in a newspaper and nobody would follow them. The key is consistency and discipline, right? Consistency and discipline. The world-class traders that I learned to trade from all have one thing in common, and that's that they have rules and they follow them with consistency and discipline because there's nobody telling you what to do when you're in the market. But when you have consistency and discipline, you always know what to do. Now, I'm going to be giving you some of the rules today. And rules are boring, but rules can make you money. But I need you to promise me one thing, that you're going to follow these rules with consistency and discipline. And when you do, you're going to be trading like the greats of people that I learned to trade from, like 1997 and 2021 U.S. investing champion and my friend Mark Minervini, the first billion-dollar hedge fund manager, Larry Height, market wizard Tom Basso, best-selling millionaire trading author Steve Burns, the original market wizard Jack Schwager, and the trend-following pioneer, Richard Dennis. All of them, I took their best lessons, and I created a strategy to manage a portfolio in only about 10 minutes a day. Now, Tom Basso, when I worked with him, uh, he said that he needs about 20 minutes a day to uh, execute his strategy and that he needed to learn from me. And I'm like, no, sir, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants here. You, sir, built the, uh, built the bridges, I guess you could say, and I'm just walking across them. Now, my goal with this web class is to show you, number one, the only way for you to become a successful trader is through 10-minute trading. The only way to do 10-minute trading is what we do every single day inside the 10-minute trading room. Now, who am I? My name is Christopher Yule, founder and head trader at 10MinuteStockTrader.com. Uh, twice been uh, top 100 uh, people in finance. I've been nominated for top 100 global leaders in finance. I've been on TV hundreds of times. Here's a few of the places you may have seen me on, like Benzinga, Yahoo Finance, etc. But it didn't start out this way, right? I grew up in a double wide mobile home in rural Texas and I went to a small school in Arkansas. Brian, good to see you. Brian's one of our 10 minute stock traders and I don't have an Ivy league degree and I did not work on wall street and I don't have a hedge fund just yet, but that is one of my life goals. Now you can do this. You can do this too. You can be a successful trader, but you cannot under any circumstance think that, you know, more from the market. And let me repeat that just one more time. You cannot, under any circumstances, think that you know more than the market. Because trading is simple. Brian knows exactly what I'm talking about. I used to say trading is easy. And we had a long conversation about, is it easy or is it simple? And we made a change, Brian. Trading is simple. Trading is simple when you know how to follow the proven rules. Now, are you ready to learn the rules? If so, type yes in the chat box. And we're going to be moving on into the first section called Crippled by Opportunity. There are thousands of stocks to trade. Which ones are the best? How do you even narrow it down? Now, this is, in my opinion, one of the greatest trading books of all time. How I Made $2 Million in the Stock Market. Trying to get to focus here. I have camera issues today. One of the greatest books ever, right? Now, in this book, as you can see here, I ruin my books when I, I read them. I, I highlight in them. I mark in them. I... Uh, put tabbies all over them. The the books get ruined by the time I'm done with them. Nobody wants my my leftover books unless you actually want to read my notes. But this is one of the greatest books of all time, I, and I, I fully stand by that. <sighs> what Nicholas Darvis said in this book, and and he he was able to be very successful in the 1950s just by trading from a newspaper across the um, across the entire world from Wall Street. And one of the things that he would do is he would find sectors that are working well, and he would just buy all the stocks in that sector. Now, let's think of an example, right? We'd think like maybe the automotive sector is doing well. So you'd buy Ford, you'd buy GM, you'd buy Tesla, you'd buy anything you possibly could in that sector. But what he'd do at that point is he'd cut the winners, or he'd, he'd keep the winners, and he'd cut the losers. He would let the market tell him which way it's going, which ones are working, but it kind of was inefficient, right? But the one thing that he did stumble into is what we call relative strength. Now, when I say crippled by opportunity, this by using relative strength is the way that you can 
not had that feeling. I know I had that feeling early on in my trading career. It's like, how many stocks are out there? How do I even know which one to buy? Because you can't buy all the stocks, right? Where do I start? Which stocks are the best, right? How do I find the switch to turn beast mode on? So I was reading through this book as well. Now, I'm an avid reader. I read between 70 and 100 books a year. I've read this one five or six times. Um, how to make money in stocks. He talks about relative strengths in here. William O'Neill, also a market wizard. Page 189 talks about how to separate leaders from laggards. And this is shown every day on the Investor's Business Daily Stock Tables. Well, isn't that handy, right? You can just go to these charts and look at this dark blue line, and this will show you relative strength, okay? I am not a huge charting person. I like moving averages. I like data. Charting kind of blows my mind. They're just adding, in my opinion, more complexity to a chart with this relative strength line. And, of course, right, I'm looking at this, and it's like, okay, well, it's shown every day here, but how do I calculate that? And inside the book, it actually says, you can't find this information in any other source. <laughs> he doesn't know the Yules. Are you really think I'm going to take that for an answer? Mm, yeah, no. How do I calculate relative strength? So I started Googling it, right? And I came up with the uh, relative strength index, which is somewhat in that ballpark, right? Relative strength index is comparing the stock to itself to say, how strong is it? How strong has it historically been? Now, some people would say you trade it when uh, it's it's at its lowest point, you go long. When it's at its highest point, you go short. I'm here to tell you that's not how you trade this. If you started to short right here in Apple, you got murdered all the way up here before it came back down. If you started to short across up here, it went on its biggest run it ever had before it came back down. That's not how you trade this. If you, in fact, my head's in the way here. If you went short right here, it kind of bounced backwards a little bit, and then it shot back up. Relative strength tells you how strong the trends are. And so to say, oh, it's too too overbought, the, the, the trends are just too strong, yeah, no, I'm going to take the opposite side of that trade. RSI, it, the calculation for it is average gain over average loss, and then using this 100, we're changing it into an oscillator here. But you don't really need to think about all that. All you got to think about is average gain over ad average loss. And, and I was reading through this and I was like, I can calculate that. So here's uh, some of the back end in the, the spreadsheets I used creating this, right? It's the average gain here, a buck 80 on Apple, $1.64. And it changes every day because you're looking at 14 periods or so, right? The average gain over 14 periods is $1.80. The average loss over 14 periods is uh, 107 Okay, so all we're doing is looking at the price from yesterday, the price of today. What's the average gain? What's the average loss? Well, in this case, if you divide average gain by average loss, it gets you a value of 1.68 for Apple. Okay, so the relative strength is 1.68. But what does that even mean, right? Is that good or is that bad? Well, let's compare it to Netflix in this example, right? The average gain for Netflix here during the time that this was taken was 4.79. The average gain or the average loss for Netflix was 5.07. So 4.79 average gain, 5.07 average loss, right? That gives us a value of uh, 0.94. So the average loss was higher than the average gain over the last periods, right? Like I said, you need to have pen and paper today. This is no joke. I'm noticing that if I do this, the camera works a little bit better and then it goes, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the camera. Either way taking notes so 0 0.94 compared to 1.68 what does that even mean okay the average gain on apple is more than the average gain on netflix we're, we're really trying to, to to compare apples to apples in this case right how do we find a way to compare one to the other and to the market so 1.68 versus 0 0.98 or 0 0.94 how do we compare this? Well, we find a baseline. And the way that I do that is with SPY, SPY, the S&P 500 ETF. Everybody knows this. It's the most liquid product in the world. This is what we need to compare everything to. So the market says its average gain is 
Its average loss is 2.23. So that gives you a, a, a relative strength value of 1.44. So SPY's relative strength is 1.44. Now remember, Apple was uh, 1.68 and Netflix was 0.94. So 1.44 is what the market's doing. So let's compare the two, right? You've got SPY at 1.44. And these are the values how we got there. And Apple at 1.68. Okay, so 1.68 over 1.44 means 1.17. So we've created a baseline by throwing that in the denominator here. Are you taking notes yet? If you're not, you're missing out. Relative strength of Apple, in this case, was 1.68, divided by the relative strength of the SPY gives us 1.17. So what does that mean? Apple at 1.17 is 17% higher relative strength compared to the SPY. The SPY will always be at 100. Apple at 1.17 is 17% greater than 100. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, right? Now let's take a look at Netflix in this case, right? It was 0 0.94 compared to SPY's 1.44. So that gives us 0 0.65. So while Apple was at 1.17, Netflix is at 0.65. So that means it's 35% below the market for relative strength. Right? 17% above 100, 35% below 100. So given the choice between the two, which are you going to pick? Right? You don't have to be crippled by opportunity. You just mathematically quantified which one is stronger. It's not objective. It's not up to debate. It's not up to some random chart pattern. It's data. You're clearly going to pick the one with highest relative strength every single flip in time. There are thousands of stocks to trade. Which ones are the best? Clearly the ones with the higher or the highest relative strength. Now here's a pro tip, right? I've got this all automatic in spreadsheets. You click a button, you type in the number, it just does everything for you. You type in the stock and it's just done. But you don't have to do that. You can do this um, simply, but it does take a little extra work. So for example, go to Apple or whomever else and get the RSI value. At the time of the screenshot, it was 62.72. Okay, That's your RSI value. Write this down. This is your RSI value, 62.72. Then go to the SPY and get the SPY's relative strength value, 58.91. Okay. Now, this is going to get you in the ballpark. 62.72 divided by 58.91 gets you 1.06. You know, the actual calculation came out to 1.17, so it gets you in the ballpark. You can see here it's greater than the market. So at that point, you can just compare the RSI value of your stock to the RSI value of SPY. You can pick any stock out there. Find the RSI value of your stock. Let's say it's 12 and the RSI value of SPY is 58. You know that the relative strength is pretty crap. You go to any stock out there. Let's just say you go to Coca-Cola and Coca-Cola's RSI value is like 74. And you see the SPY's relative strength value is 58. Well, you know that Coca-Cola is outperforming the market. And you just compare. There's thousands of stocks. Which ones are the best? Well, it's the ones with the highest relative strength. That's exactly what William O'Neill said in his book. But you don't have to go and buy Investor's Business Daily. You don't have to go and listen to, you know, it's, it's a proprietary method. No one else can calculate relative strength. That's just flat not true. <laughs> you know how to calculate relative strength now. You have two different ways to calculate relative strength now. So here's a key, key point to remember. How do I calculate relative strength? Find your average gain and your average loss over X number of periods. You choose. 14 is like the standard. And you get a value. Then you do it again on the market. And you get another value. Then you divide your stock by the market to get the value of the relative strength, and then compare A and B, or A, B, C, and D. 
This is exactly what we do in our trading room every day. Every day in our trading room, it's exactly part of the process. We can't move through the process to even looking at anything else until we've confirmed that these are the highest relative strength stocks possible. Does that make sense? Are you getting this? Let me know if you have questions. And goodness gravy, if you have not taken notes, you need to be taking notes. So we're in the second section already. It's time to break the stock trading speed limit. This is how the pros do it. Now, back in my day, back in my day, I was, uh, I'll never forget this. I was, um, I was starting to make money, right? Starting to make real money in trading. And I remember this was one of those times where it's like, I should have taken this as a hint. I was showing my wife my account balance on my phone. And I'm like, look what I've done. Isn't this epic? She's like, yeah, that is pretty sweet, right? I'm starting to find success in trading. Everything is working. Everything's set up. And I'm catching these amazing trends. And the relative strength on these stocks are like 250 plus. I mean, they're like the most baller stocks you've ever seen. Everything is clicking. Then all of a sudden, everything stops working. And, and I'll never forget this because it was the weekend after I showed my wife just how great things were going, right? It was like I was buying the top in all these stocks. I didn't understand what was going on. It was not supposed to happen like this. The relative strength on these was incredibly high. Why did this stop? Here's an example. ExxonMobil. I caught this move. I caught all of that move. And I felt like a freaking genius when I did. The relative strength was incredibly high, like 250 plus, like I was saying, but it was falling. So let's say it had been 250 and now it's 247, going to 246. Real strength was high, but it falling. And that's when I realized this is like racing. This was like racing. So imagine you've got two cars here. And I use this example all the time in the trading room about why relative strength is important. Imagine you've got two racing cars. Both of them are moving at 100 miles an hour. When you see them right beside each other, they're both moving at the same speed. This is fact. And that's like the relative strength at one point in time. Okay? At one point in time, they're traveling at the exact same speed. But is it at 100 and growing? Or is it at 100 and falling? At one point, looking at this chart here, the relative strength is over 200 and growing. And it was growing fast. Murder in the market. Got up to 275. And I'm like, oh, Chris is a genius. Uh, but then it peaked. And it became 260 at this point. Falling from 275. Now, remember in this example, both of them were moving at 100 here. But one of these cars is going faster than the other. One of them is gaining speed while the other one is losing speed. The yellow car is gaining in its relative strength. It was exactly there at the same speed and the yellow car is pushing the gas. They're exactly the same speed and the black car is pushing the brake. So we can measure this change. Right? We've already found out what's moving stronger than the market. But is it still... Is it growing or is it falling? That's the question you have to ask. Is it growing or is it falling? Now we use relative strength delta. It's just a change. What does delta mean? It's just a change or the difference, right? It does, it's not complicated. Is relative strength growing or is relative strength shrinking? Has it peaked? Is relative strength going up or is relative strength coming back down? Because the relative strength itself is only one point in time. How is it changing? And you could look at this too with RSI. Is the slope of RSI growing or falling, right? You look right here, it's growing. You look right there, it's peaking. You look over there, it's falling. Is the slope growing or is it falling? You tell me. Is the gas pedal being mashed? Or is the stock hitting its brakes? That is the relative strength delta. That's why we care. We want a high absolute value of relative strength. We want relative strength to be at 100, 150, 200, 275. Anything like that is epic. 
but we also need to ensure that the relative strength is still rising. It's still going from 100 to 200 to 275. And then quantify when it's no longer rising. So you look at it today and it says 260 and you're like, 260, that's what's up. But then you look at the relative strength delta and you say, wait a minute, it was 275. What happened here? Oh, the relative strength is running out. <laughs> it's just like Investor's Business Daily. Looking at this chart right here, what is the relative strength at any point in time? Or is it rising? Or is it falling? But you don't have to worry about that because we quantify it. Right? Looking at this, it can be somewhat subjective. But you could say it's negative 4, or you could say it's positive 50. Right on here, it could be subjective somewhere on this point, right? Looking at this spot right here, is relative strength rising or falling? Today's relative strength value versus the five day average. That is how you calculate relative strength delta. Just really, is it averaging up or is it averaging down? Is today's relative strength higher than the five day average, for example? 110 for today versus the five day average is 97. So you could say that it has a 13, positive 13 relative strength delta. So relative strength is growing. It's fact, it's quantifiable. It's not objective. Here's a key point to remember. You want a high relative strength. You want that absolute high speed. It's exactly, exactly, exactly exactly like two cars traveling down the road at 100 miles an hour. One of them is pushing the gas, the other is pushing its brake. What you're trying to do here is be on the one that's pushing its gas and leaving behind the one that's pushing its brake. Does that make sense? Let me know in the chat if you have any questions and please be sure you're taking notes because this is deep. This is deep stock trading theory right here. This is what separates 90% of traders from everybody else, right? It separates the best from the rest is seeing relative strength. You're crippled by opportunity already. Let's remove that. Take off anything that's below 100 on relative strength. Just wipe it away. And then anything that's above 100, wipe away anything with a falling relative strength. That's all you got to do. Grant says, channeling my inner Yorn. He's listening from Spain. Very cool. Yeah, Yorn is another one of our uh, 10 minute stock traders. Yorn is a uh, an airline pilot who's flying literally all over the earth. Still trades with us every single day. It's pretty awesome what he does. All right, we're moving into the third section save time and frustration okay how to spot opportunities that 99 percent of traders miss and one of my favorite quotes what i like to say is success doesn't happen on accident right everyone is going to pay their wall street tuition this is what i learned i put it all in one strategy here and we execute it every day with consistency and discipline that's what ended up for my wall street tuition but here's the hard truth. If you want to be successful as a trader, you're going to have to get pretty good at math. It's just the truth. You're going to have to know math, right? I can't draw chart patterns to save my life. There are really two kinds of people in the world, right? There's artistic people and then there's analytical people. I fall into the analytical people set. Both of them can be successful in the stock market. Some people can draw the patterns on there, but I can't. I, I couldn't draw a pattern to save my life. And you can just use the data that's available, right? Now, in how to make money in stocks, William O'Neill talks about um, his favorite pattern, which is called a uh, cup with handle. This is so subjective to me, I lose my mind when I see people talking about head and shoulders, cup with handles, whatever, right? I don't even know what this is called. I think it's a pennant, but it could be a flag. And if it's a flag, is it bullish or bearish? Is If it's a pennant, does that make a difference? I don't know. Um, here's a couple of other patterns that I've found. Uh, the, uh, the Stegosaurus, right? You enter when it goes up the spikes on the back of the Stegosaurus. 
Uh, you exit when it's going down the spikes of the Stegosaurus. Makes perfect sense, right? Uh, or there's the beach, right? You've got the uh, the the waves when when things are going, and then you've got the mountain up to the sun, right? Uh, or or this other one, um, the unicorn pattern. From what I understand, when you draw the unicorn, you have to make sure that the uh, the point of its horn matches the point of its tail. Otherwise, the pattern is useless, right? I'm 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 making jokes here, but the point is is that like. That's so subjective. All the chart patterns are subjective. And that's why I joke about it when I say, right? Um, I don't even understand how to draw a pennant flag upside down staircase cheesecake, right? It just doesn't make sense to me. It's all subjective. And some traders love to stare at charts for hours. I don't. I would much rather work smarter. And you can do all the math for relative strength and relative strength delta on all the charts... You can do all that math, or you could just use a scanner like we do in the 10-minute trading room. Like, it's part of it, right? So here's a live demo for how we do it. And let me click a couple buttons here. The live demo of the relative strength scanner, okay? Let me make this bigger. And here, relative strength scanner. Make it bigger. So here's a few stocks that I put in. And if you want to put some stocks in the chat, go for it. But here's a bunch of stocks, right? And and this is live. I'll change this one to uh, Netflix real quick so you can see how live it is. You can see price just updated. What I have listed on this relative strength scanner is all of it's done automatically. So here's the correlation to the SPY. Here's if we were going to go long or short. Here's the entry price we're looking at. And here's the relative strength. Remember, the SPY, SPY, the SPY is trading at 100 relative strength, period, all the time, forever. That's what it does, right? The SPY is always at 100. It's our base. And we can look at this and we can say, okay, Netflix is trading at 77% of the strength of SPY today. I don't want to trade that. And we break this down even a little bit better because you can see, you remember we talked about um, the, uh, the how to make money in, in stocks and how they, they throw a, uh, let me find it real quick. They throw an extra line on there for the, oh geez, I gotta go a long way. There it is. They throw an extra line on there for the relative strength, this line right here. In my opinion, that just adds additional complexity. I'll go back to the live demo slide. Okay. But here, I've broken it out, right? It's a tiny little chart inside of this. It's called a spark chart. It's a chart in each of these. And then you can see for yourself how the relative strength has changed. Is the relative strength growing? Like in Coke? This is really interesting. Look at Coke. Coke's relative strength right now is 64. That's not super strong. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 106. That's the correlation. It's 106. So just a little bit stronger than SPY. But you can see it's been growing a lot. Growing a lot. In fact, the relative strength delta shows a positive seven. Then you can look at something like Tesla. It's at a 192 relative strength right now today. So it's traveling at 192. It's gaining only slightly. Well, it just changed. 186 today, gaining only slightly a positive one. But you can see its relative strength has actually come down a lot. Boom. And it's been drifting upward slightly. And we could look at something else like... Um, Kraft Heinz, KHC, one of our biggest winners last year. Relative strength right now is at 127. And then the relative strength delta is at positive 16. So it's pushing that gas. Um, then you've got to find one like this one, GM, that has a positive relative strength of 113. So it's still greater than the market, yet it's been monkey hammered down 26%. In the last week, 26 uh, percentage points. So this was at like 130 a week ago. That's at 113. Or 140, I guess you could say. Yeah, 140. So I show you all that to let you know that it it can be done very quickly with the spreadsheet. This is It's a free Google spreadsheet. All I had to do was just fill in all the details and all the data to make it happen, right? And you can scan hundreds of charts doing it that way. 
but you don't have to click on each one and look at its relative strength and things like that. It's just boom, all right there. This is how to separate leaders from laggards. Relative strength, as mentioned by William O'Neill, is how you separate leaders from laggards. And now you know the calculation for that. And that relative strength scanner is free for members of the 10 minute trading room. You just click right there and click download. You're good to go. Just make it easy. Now this was a game changer for me. When I learned how to do this, it was an ultimate game changer for me. And I realized this key point. High relative strength needs to be ac uh, accompanied by a growing relative strength delta. If it's at 100 today, is it 100 and growing or is it 100 and falling? Now, I only take trades that are set up 100% perfectly. And I use the scanner to calculate everything for this instantly. And as you saw, it was changing as we were sitting there, right? But as we say, rules are boring, but rules make you money. Do more of what works and less of what doesn't. That's exactly relative strength in a nutshell. Do more of what's working and less of what doesn't. So does that make sense? Are you getting this? Let me know if you have questions. And, and honestly, in the chat, let me know, all right? Do you think you can do this? I believe you can. So type yes in the chat box. That's been our three sections we covered today. Cripple by opportunity, how to break the stock trading speed limit, and how to save time and frustration, right? This is how to find beast mode stocks. Because like I said earlier, trading is simple. We know how to play by the rules. Now, I have a quick video that I want to share with you uh, from Kavan, one of our 10-minute trading room members. That I did with Kavan, uh, it, I, I'm giving away free consultations for members of the trading room. And I just want you to hear exactly what Kavan says. Mm -hmm. I'm watching these these stocks today and it's like I have Peloton and Fastly and I'm looking at them and they're following the back test as planned. And I'm like, I'm telling my friend Rob and I'm like, yo, I'm happy. And he's like, why? I'm like, I finally found something, a setup that I can use. I can go in there. I can't, I don't need anybody. I can go in there and I can make the trade my own. I can mm -hmm. follow your steps A to Z and I can plan my trade. As you said, 10 minutes a day no hassle no headaches ain't got a stress and he's like for real so no i have him taking the previous course that i took because it laid a foundation for me and i'm like if you understand what these guys are teaching then hop on over to chris because these guys are gonna lay a foundation with the little fundamentals like you know like the basics mm -hmm. and then you you when you transition over to chris then you will start understanding a little bit more so you know you put in the roof on now they build the foundation I did my little thing. You put in the roof, you know, I'm eventually going to learn how to put some furniture in the house. As you can see, it's empty. You know? <laughs> so, so, you know, that's the goal, man. And um, I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. And the way you teach, it's simplified. And um, I ain't got to sit there and draw no trend lines. I ain't got to look for um, no breakout candlesticks. Like, which candle is this at the end of the day? Is it a, a doji candle? And I'm like, I'll never learn to read candlesticks pattern. Like, you probably know I, candlesticks better than I do at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, like, I literally I'm like, don't know anything about I'm like, them. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, looking, I'm online on Amazon looking for a good, you know, candlestick, you know, book to learn to read candles. I'm like, I'm not learning none of this stuff. I'm just going to pay attention to what Chris is doing. I put the lines on there and dude, I take screenshots of them and I look at them every day because yesterday I was showing everybody, like I call all the guys because I have all the guys that come in the group is guys from my work. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Josh, Daniel, um, Chris, and um, Rob, you know, they happen on the live when you have, I invite them over and they love it. You know, I cool. got everybody, you know, asking questions. Daniel is on there asking a lot of questions. He actually went and got trend spider. So slowly by slowly, you know, everybody's coming to the table and like, you know, want to learn because step by step is no stress. Do you want to take this to the next level? Right. Type yes in the chat box if you're ready to take this to the next level, because I want to do something awesome for you today. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Would you like my help in implementing this in your trading? That's where the 10 minute trading room comes in. This is will allow you to finally live the life you have always dreamed being a trader would be. We have daily live video calls, daily trade alerts, daily new trade setups, daily portfolio updates, daily market analysis, daily trading psychology, which is so important. And everything we trade, we trade together. 
So it's like getting a call from me personally every trading day with what we're trading and why we're trading it, which is really the most important part. Every trading day. Plus, you can get rid of all the fake gurus that you're still following on Twitter. I know I was really guilty of that. Spending hours searching on YouTube for the next uh, YOLO stock. Scrolling on Twitter. Everything we trade, we trade together. So as a member, you get everything. You get the daily video calls for free. Your membership includes the, va the daily video calls for free. The daily trade setups, the portfolio updates, market analysis, trading psychology, all that's included for free. And then every other Friday, just like you're doing right now, we do live training and Q&A sessions. Just like the one that you're watching right now. And we'll be building new courses together with your questions and your answers. That's so important to me. And these courses, like I said earlier on today, will be available for members only. You get to watch me personally showing you all the lessons that we use in these courses in our trading. And you can ask me questions as you need, right? You get it all. He's showing you what's working today. And it's like an up to the minute field report sent from the front lines of the cutting edge of trading. And then showing you how to model it in your trading fast. And the only way to have access like this would be if I were to sit in the same room with you and you were looking shoulder to shoulder or looking over my shoulder with me every single day. Now, here's what a few of our members have said, right? Robert's saying, your trainings and advice have accelerated my learning 10x. This allowed me to start doing things that were sometimes unthinkable. Listening to Chris is well worth your time, even if you're a seasoned investor. So who's this for? Well, it's for new traders. It's for experienced traders. It's for busy professionals, some side hustlers. Like I know I've got a couple of my 10 minute stock traders in there who are side hustlers. And then parents who just want to trade while their kids nap. And if you've never traded before, don't worry. <laughs> is it okay if I over deliver? As a member, you're going to get everything. You're going to get the live training video calls and you're going to get the live training every other week with me. And what else do you need to be successful? How about my flagship course, the AI stock trading system. And in this, we go step by step on how to use artificial intelligence in your trading. And also I'll throw in the real trades case study course and the bullish, bearish, and neutral option strategy courses. So you'll be all set up there. And you're gonna get all of that for free. As a member, you get everything included. That's the daily video calls, the live training and Q&A calls, and the full catalog of our best-selling courses, okay? Well, I'm not, what else would you need to be successful? We have video courses, we have our private chat room, and you're gonna be part of a small group of high performers that are across the world that share valuable information that the rest of the planet never discovers. You're gonna get the latest cutting edge trading tactics and strategies before anyone else knows about them, exactly like we talked about today, including the live video trade alerts, the live market analysis, the live portfolio analysis, the live trade setups, the live trading psychology, all of that is included, and the live training and Q&A calls, the live look over your shoulder trading setups, live trading courses built with your questions and your answers. All of this is included as a member. You get all of this. Plus, I'm offering this now as a member. You're going to get at least one free one-on-one -on -one consultation like what we showed in Kavan's video. And this is coming from me. Who am I? Here's a little bit about me, right? I went straight to the pioneers of successful trading. I learned directly from world famous market wizards and billionaire portfolio managers. And last year, the first year of implementing our strategy, we had a staggering 172.41% uh, return on the first year of execution. So I'm pretty, pretty excited to share that with you, right? You're going to get all of this, including the private one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, total value $5,488, right? Now, if all this did was finally set you up to see how real traders are profitable, do you think that'd be worth it? If all this did was help you shortcut the Wall Street learning curve, which hurts so bad, skip all those costly mistakes that most traders make and take years to figure out, would it be worth that? If all this did was give, give you the ability to model our trades and cut out the garbage that you see on the internet, you know what I'm talking about, would it be worth that? So I had two choices. The first option was to go as cheap as possible to try and help, you know, everybody out there. But the thing is, is that there are lots of freebie seeking knuckleheads, you know, the guys on Wall Street bets, right? That really shouldn't be trading anyways. But the second option, which we went with, is the little higher investment in yourself, in the program. 
And in exchange, you get my time and my attention, and you're going to get you set up to get the success that you've always wanted. What would that one perfect trade be worth to you? Do you think that if you develop the trades like I did, you get the same results that I did? For the right person, this membership should pay you, clearly. If you're like most people, you would tell me you'd probably pay for years of membership with just the proceeds of one single trade. I know a couple of people have already done that. You probably tell me that everything else after that would just be gravy. And that's why I'm sending you our total trading system every month, right? I want to make this an absolute no brainer for you. And I take a lot of pride in helping our members win big and avoid the big losers too. And that's why this is worth $5,488 because you're here today. You're now officially a 10 minute stock trader. I'm going to give you a monster discount. Of course, I wouldn't ask you to pay $5,488. The monthly cost of being part of the 10-minute trading room is only $147. That's it. That's like four bucks a day if you think about it that way. You're going to get the, get the daily live video calls with me. You're going to get the live training and Q&A calls. You're going to get the full catalog of our best-selling courses. And you're going to get a private one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. Total value. $5,488. And the monthly cost, like I said, it's only $147. You can boil it down to four bucks a day. There's no contract. You can cancel at any time. You've got two choices, really. The first option is you do nothing and not take this leap of faith and continue to struggle, continue to search on YouTube, continue to search on Twitter, continue to listen to those fake gurus. The first option really is nothing changes. Or the second option, you invest in yourself. The second option is you learn how the market really works. The second option, you give yourself a shot. See if this works for you. Like I said, there's no contract. You can cancel at any time. But don't you think it'd be worth 147 to show me how we set up every single trade, every entry point and every exit point, and like Kavan said earlier, step by step with no stress. Do you think it'd be worth 147 for you to come spend an entire month right here sitting next to me looking over my shoulder on every trade we make? Well, that's pretty much what it's going to be exactly like. I'm going to walk you through every entry, every exit, and why we do everything. Personally showing you what's working and what's not. The daily trade alerts are meant to give you that exact same experience. And here's something else to consider. Do you think it'd be worth 147 to jump online with me twice a month to get all of your trading questions answered, right? If you have any questions, you just let me know. I got you. I'm here for you. I do this for you. That's what we do in the live training and Q&A calls. Plus, you can see your fellow members every day, and you can ask them what's working for them, right? And any of those scenarios sound like it might be useful to you, then this is clearly a no-brainer. You can still keep all the courses for free no matter what. You're going to get the daily trade alerts. You're going to get the live training and Q&A calls, the full catalog for our best-selling courses, and best really of all is to get you set up for success, the private one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. The work we do together can change everything. You know that. This can change your life. This is the wealth ripple effect that we're talking about. You'll be able to take our trade ideas and plug them into your account effortlessly because I show you exactly step-by-step. You connect with me and your fellow members on our live video calls every day. Help you get the guidance and the focus that you need. So take this offer and become a member today. Remember, you're under no obligation. You can cancel any time and you can still keep all the gifts for free. And here's a couple other bonuses I want to tell you about. One, or here's three fast action bonuses if you sign up today. I wrote the secret investing book and I want to send you an autographed copy in the mail plus the audiobook. I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step guide to our 10 minutes to freedom trading strategy, which we use every single day. And finally, our top stock list, which we have, I update this every single day. So every day that you get this is exactly what we are doing in the trading room. So let me show you how to sign up real quick. Just go to 10 minute trading room.com. Click this big blue button right here that says click here to take the guesswork out of trading right now. Then you're going to go to the next page and it's going to ask you a couple of questions like your name, address and everything. Put in your credit card number to get started. Make sure that you put in your t-shirt size because I want to send you a hashtag 10 minute stock trader because you're going to be officially one of us, officially a 10 minute stock trader. So if you have any questions at all whatsoever, feel free to reach out to our team. 
We would love to help you out, love to get you set up, and love to get you as part of the 10-minute trading room. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. I hope that this uh, was very enlightening, very useful, and I can't wait to see you inside the 10-minute trading room with us every single day, and in fact, later on today as we make our trades. Thank you. All right. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, there was one question in the chat from Paul. What is the best time to check the spreadsheet? The answer is whenever you're ready to trade. And I mean that by saying if uh, if you trade at noon every day, that's the time to check. If you trade uh, at the at the close, maybe 10, 15 minutes before close, that's when to check. We meet every day in the 10 minute trading room in the last 45 minutes of the day. We don't usually take 45 minutes. Some days it's just a couple minutes. Some days it takes a little bit longer. And some days we run out of time because there are so many opportunities to put on. But on average, it's about 10 minutes a day. Uh, so we use it generally between uh, 2.15 and 3 p.m. Central Time every single day. So I hope that helps, Paul. Thanks so much for coming and watching. And thank you all so much for coming and learning how to find Beast Mode stocks. I hope you took tons of notes because uh, this is a good one. This is a doozy. And this will, and I guarantee you, will separate you from everybody else once you understand the concept and implement this in your trading. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you later on today in the 10-Minute Trading Room.